our aim is to be able to provide our patients with teeth. And if we can provide our patients with teeth that are supported by implants, we have to be able to plan properly to be able to ensure that the implants are positioned in the right place. So here's our patient. Obviously, he has some interesting presentation in both the upper and the lower jaw. He wanted a full arch and full mouth reconstruction. In order to be able to achieve this goal, we have to have the proper amount of planning. This is part of the concept of guided surgery. The template is only as good as the plan. And so therefore, we have to take uh, proper measurements, intraoral photographs, impressions, or intraoral scans, as well as, of course, comb beam CT. Once we have the comb beam CT, we want to be able to merge the information with the existing stone casts or impressions. We then can take that data set, plan the position for each implant. We want to be able to rotate around the implant 360 degrees to make sure that we do not impinge upon any vital structures. As we visualize each implant placement, we also may discover that we will need angled abutments in order to be able to achieve the result that we want. We also have to be able to plan fixation for a guide, in this case the chrome guide, to guide the drilling process as well as full template guidance to place the implants through the guide itself. And so here you see the mandible and the maxilla, the two plans side by side. Here's Dr. Towel addressing this particular case, first doing a flap that is necessary to be able to seat the chrome guide properly. First, this will go over the teeth. Each part of the foundation is then fixated with our fixation pins, as you can see here, on both the mandible and the maxilla. It's very important that this process be done carefully because this process is going to dictate everything else that occurs from the positioning of the guide forward because everything is based upon the position of this foundation guide. You can see the pins will be removed and the seating appliance will be removed, allowing for total access to extract all of the teeth. You see the windows, by the way, allow the visualization to make sure that each one of these guides are seated properly. And of course this is very very quickly done for the purposes of this lecture so that you can visualize how all of the extractions are done while the foundation is in place. Then of course in most cases we're going to have to do bone reduction. Bone reduction is accomplished in many different ways by every different clinician. They're going to do it differently from using large burrs, as you see here, surgical burrs in a straight handpiece, to piezo, to other types of bone saws. Every clinician is going to do it differently. Once the bone reduction has been completed, we want to make sure that there's an adequate reduction so that our secondary template can be placed over the top, and these will be secured with the Swiss locks. So here you see on the left screen positioning the guide so that we can address the, the amount of bone reduction. And then full template guidance is going to take place in this particular situation, drilling each one of the osteotomies. This chrome guide allows total visualization so we can see everything that we need to see as well as irrigation for each one of the drills of course, sequential drilling is important, and there should be no movement whatsoever in the guide itself. Once the drilling process is complete, we will then go in and position the implants through the guide, and of course, that is full template guidance, as also discussed in our courses and our textbooks and articles that have been published. So once all of the implants are placed, panoramic radiograph confirms that the plan was met with the positioning of the guide itself. 
and you can see some of the fixation pins that are or holes that are left in the bone from the fixation pins. And then the prosthesis is going to be delivered again using the chrome guide fixation and Swiss locks to be able to assure the proper fit and the proper bite. And here you see the post-op with the multi-unit abutments on the left and the right and the soft tissue healing. As the soft tissue heals, we're going to go from a temporary restoration to a final restoration. And here you see the patient much more happy with his new smile.